हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू पार्ट सिक्स ऑफ थीम थ्री किनशिप कास्ट एंड क्लास अर्ली सोसाइटीज सरका सिक्स हंड्रेड बी सी टू सिक्स हंड्रेड सी ई जातीज एंड सोशल मोबिलिटी सो द टॉपिक दैट विल डिस्कस टूडे इज जातीज एंड सोशल मोबिलिटी आफ्टर द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो लेसन यू वुड बी एबल टू कंपेयर जाति एंड वर्ना describe the inscriptions of mandasor and explain trainees or gills so as we discussed earlier about the varna system now let's understand jati and varna so social category is also referred to as jati in brahmanical theory jati like varna was based on birth however while the number of varnas was fixed at 4 there was no restriction on the number of jatis so there had been several jatis even today you compare it and you find there are several jatis varnas are fixed that are brahman kshatriya vaishya and shudra now in fact whenever brahmanical authorities encountered new groups for instance people living in forests such as the nishads nishadas so the people living in forest were termed as nishadas or wanted to assign a name to occupational categories such as the goldsmith like sunar we say or swarnakara which did not easily fit into the fourfold varna system they classified them as a jati so it was required and they found that there is a need to create jati jatis which shared a common occupation in fact it was based on occupation what work accomplished by a particular group they were named accordingly however with time and eventually now the jatis are based on birth jatis which shared a common occupation or profession were sometimes organized into shrainis or guilds like different shraining stone inscription circa 5th century ce found in mandasore madhya pradesh so one interesting stone inscription of circa 5th century ce found in mandasore that is in madhya pradesh records the history of a guild of silk weavers who originally lived in lata gujarat so you can you can see the link here from gujarat to madhya pradesh from where they migrated to mandasore then known as dashapura so the old name of mandasore is dashapura it states that they undertook the difficult journey along with their children and kin folk as they had heard about the greatness of the local king and wanted to settle in his kingdom so people moved and came here to settle down more information about it that the inscription provides a fascinating glimpse of complex social processes and provides insights into the nature of guilds or shrainies so the inscriptions what we find there gives us information or and the insights what was the nature of guilds or shrainies at that time that we get the information although membership was based on a shared craft specialization some members adopted other occupations like as we discussed about the shared craft specialization some members followed some other occupations as well it also indicates that the members shared more than a common profession they collectively decided to invest their wealth earned through their craft the skill that they had to construct a splendid temple in honor of the sun god now let's talk about the case of the merchants sanskrit texts and inscriptions use the term vanik 
to designate merchants. So the merchants were designated as Vanaks, while trade was defined as an occupation for Vashyas, as we discussed earlier. In the Shastras, a more complex situation is evident in plays such as Mrichikatika, written by Shudra, circa 4th century CE. Here the hero Charudatta was described as both a Brahmana and a Sattvaha or merchant. And a 5th century inscription describes two brothers who made a donation for the construction of a temple as Kshatriya Vanik. So that, that is something which we find unusual here. Now what the silk weavers did? Here is an excerpt from the inscription which is in Sanskrit. Some are intensely attached to music so pleasing to the ear. Others being proud of the authorship of a hundred excellent biographies are conversant with wonderful tales. Others filled with humility are absorbed in excellent religious discourses. Some excel in their own religious writs. Likewise by others who were self-possessed, the science of astronomy was mastered and others valorous in battle, even today forcibly caused harm to the enemies. So it's not that silk weavers were attached only with the silk weaving work. You, you can see here that some were writing, they were authors, some were attached to music, some uh, and uh, we see 100 excellent biographies and uh, some were bards who used to tell stories. So it's not limited that they were just doing the silk weaving work. Some were brave warriors as well. Now you have the assignment questions. Thank you and have a great day.